Aloha and welcome to Hula Preservation Society's Digital Umeke. HPS has conducted oral history interviews with Hula elders for over 20 years. Digital Umeke is our virtual collections website featuring select materials of elder collections from our archive. This tutorial is a brief overview in navigating and using materials of the George Holokai collection. Upon visiting Digital Umeke, images of some elders we have worked with are displayed at the top. These remarkable people lived through dramatically changing times in 20th century Hawaii. Their lives in Hula have helped to preserve, perpetuate, and cultivate Hawaiian culture and life ways. There are a handful of tabs at the very top that can help you use and navigate this site. Scrolling down the page allows you to access areas by featured content and by category. Let's take a look at the collection for Uncle George. Click on the top tab titled Collections. This is Hula Master George Ainsley Kanani Okeakua Holokai. He was born on the island of Oahu in 1930. During his childhood, young George experienced music and dance through the family, and he ultimately went on to become a master, fiercely dedicated to the hula. You can learn more about Uncle George and his life's journey through this virtual collection. All of our oral history kupuna have a featured photo with a short summary at the top of their collection page. Below this is a brief section providing insight into how HPS met this elder and what it was like to spend time with them. We met Uncle George through HPS founder, Auntie Nona Beamer. While he was a little younger than her, they were both immersed in the world of hula and would regularly be on judging panels together at hula competitions. Uncle was a shy man and also humble. His talents were recognized from a young age as he was truly a standout. We were thrilled whenever Uncle would accept our invitation to join an HPS panel program and will show you how to navigate your way to one such program in his materials online. To see the items available in Uncle's virtual collection, scroll down. These records contain photos, interview transcripts, video excerpts, finding aids, and footage lists to assist you in your research and learning. Let's take a look at Uncle George's person record. Here we have some basic biographical info about Uncle. External links with additional information on him are listed at the bottom of the page. This classic photograph of Uncle as a young man was donated to the HPS archive by the Hutchison family. The pahu drum pictured was made by a member of the family. Let's go back to Uncle's main collection page. Another type of record you can use to learn more about Uncle is a digital heritage item record. Let's take a look at an HPS panel discussion Uncle was part of in 2003 on the island of Oahu. A viewing carousel with available materials for this panel discussion is displayed at the top of the record. You can watch the entire recorded panel program if you click here. Since Uncle was a frequent judge at competitions, he was accustomed to sharing his opinion. Let's take a peek at one such instance. These are things that are taught in a dance school, so you know, th these are the people to ask because they're the ones who make up the motions that the children use for that particular melee. Yeah. I'd like to say something about uh, the hula motion. Uh, like Auntie Edith was uh, talking about the wind. Uh, the ladies had two hands, whereas the men would just use one hand. And another thing is on the Keanu uh, Ovai Mea. What? Ki pu'u pu'u and uh, yeah. pahili, uh, the wind. Okay, the rain was this way, the wind, I did it this way. Aye. And then, so a lot of them said, Uncle, where did you get that wind from? I said, I learned that from my mama. I said, this was years ago when I had, uh, I was teaching for Park and Education. I forget what song it was. Mm -hmm. But I said, well, I asked my mother to, you know, help me to put motions. So there, this was the wind, yeah. 
So that's why I added that on. So I said, you know, now it's gonna be a monkey see, monkey do. I said, I'm gonna see who, go, what halal gonna do that. Mahalo. <laughs> There is a transcript of the panel discussion if you would like to read the conversation along with the video or without the video. Depending on your system and browser, the transcript may automatically download or the PDF may open up in another window. Most browsers will open the PDF in a browser window. You can search the entire transcript for specific words, names, or places by using the browser's built-in search function. For example, we can search on the name Tom for Tom Hiona, Uncle George's first formal kumu. We see it occurs right in the beginning of Uncle George's first response that day. Not surprising since we always honor our teachers and keep their names and legacies alive. Uncle was also a respected chanter, so let's enter that term. We are taken to a point in the discussion where Uncle shares how he became a chanter for the Aloha Week Court. As you can see, Uncle George had much to share that day about his teachers, training, and life experiences in Hawaii as a young man in the 1940s and 1950s. Some browsers automatically download a PDF and do not open in a web browser like this. Locate the downloaded PDF on your computer, open the file, and use Adobe's built-in search feature to look for key terms. Returning now back to the record for this panel presentation, you can also look at photos taken during the event. To scroll in the carousel, you can simply click on the next thumbnail to see what else is available. Lastly, a research tool called a finding aid is also available. It can help you narrow down areas of interest before doing more in-depth research. You can readily identify a finding aid in the carousel because it is green. Transcripts are orange. Additional information for this digital heritage item record and the panel itself can be found in the right-hand column of the page and at the bottom of the page. There are also digital heritage item records for oral history interviews HPS conducted with Uncle George. These are easily distinguishable from events as they are labeled with Uncle George's name followed by the date of the interview. These records may also contain downloadable PDF transcripts and finding aids to assist in your research along with photos taken by HPS during the interviews. Again, additional information can be found in the right-hand column and at the bottom of the record page. The last kind of research tool you may find in an elder's collection is a footage list. Let's take a look at Uncle George's. This list is a PDF and again may open in your web browser or automatically download. This listing offers details on footage we have of or is associated with Uncle George in the HPS archive. Most of these resources are not yet available online, so please feel free to contact us about something in particular. We want to share an item from Uncle George's footage list that is available online. In 2003, just before the panel discussion we previously looked at, Uncle and his students from his master class performed on the Great Lawn at Bishop Museum. Uncle George opened the show with one of his favorite songs to sing. A stands for Warm Aloha. Let's take a listen. There's a place I love the best. It's so different from the rest. Just an isle across the balmy ocean blue. It's a land of paradise, neath the tropic sunny skies. Now listen and we'll spell it out for you. A stands for dear aloha, L is for the laughter and smile, O is for out in the Pacific where the angels fill the tropic isles. H is for dear old Honolulu, 
far across the ocean blue, and it just means aloha, and aloha means we love you, and aloha means we love you. Mahalo, thank you. We hope you enjoy your time learning about Dear Uncle George. We encourage you to explore other elder collections on Digital Umeke too. If you need help with your research, have questions, or would like to inquire about other materials, please go to Research Inquiries at the top of the page. You will be taken to our HPS Archive page where you can access our Archive Inquiry form. Mahalo for joining us. We can be reached at archive at hulapreservation.org. Malamapono!